Hello friends. Today we will do a simple watercolor practice. Simple watercolor practices are the best way of learning watercolors. I am taking a Indian handmade paper called pressed, a small sheet of paper, and I am making some quick marks. These are not very committed lines. They are just some ideas. I am planning for some piece of water below the horizon and some foliage above and I might make a couple of boats it is up to you what you make we are not worrying about the accuracy here we are just trying to practice bold and simple watercolors getting the boats right is not of that much importance here doing practice is important right so my idea is that i will go for some wet on wet approach and in the water we will make some boat and reflections and some reflection of the foliage as well the foliage is i am just marking i may not commit to that depending upon the foliage the reflection also will change now i am filling the entire paper with water maybe i might leave a small patch of white in the water area which might show some uh, highlights on the water i'm not worried about precision just ensuring that rest everything is every part of the paper oh. is covered with water mm. why with why water because i want a lot of smudging uh, wet on wet things to happen and as i am defining the objects above horizon i am also thinking of the reflections on water i have left the white area for boat okay and maybe some color change here little bit of greenish color don't worry about the exact color being used i think initially i have used some cerulean blue now i am using viridian green okay i am using a mop brush natural hair mop brush here and for this bold works mop brushes are better good don't have to really worry about the exact mark or the brand of the brush as long as it, it is a brush that can hold good amount of water i think it's sufficient some more color variation just picking up some colors from my palette little warmer brownish green maybe you can use any color thinking of the reflection just let it merge okay be free the idea is to be free not worry too much about precise results watercolors are done best if you are not worrying about results they give good results just thinking of the mirror image for reflection I think we have pretty much covered the initial wash the foliage and reflections trying to get some patch of white by 
applying a damp brush on top of the undried wash but we may not get it good because it might again spread for the small boat i think the area i have left for the i have planned for the small boat is covered by the, some washes trying to lift out some colors there i think some more darker colors we need so yeah some dark green viridian the as don't worry about the colors i am not happy with the colors that i am using but the objective is to just get going if you want you can make uh, small i mean more in detailed drawing keep on looking at what is happening on the paper and accordingly adjust your approach be free to modify the things okay we need some reflections for this also these reflections are sort of wet on wet because the underlying layer is not fully dry yet don't worry about precision i am not worrying about precision the objective is to have a dialogue within yourself look at the paper see what is happening on the paper try to judge try to see yeah, are you happy with that should i do any modifications what can i do to get it more suggestive okay more convincing that is what i usually think what can what how can i make it maybe more interesting uh, than how can i make it more precise precision can always come with, with uh, uh, more focus if you are going with for precisions uh, i would then say that you will be too much worried about the a specific end objective and uh, you will narrow down your thought process if you are specifically looking for uh, a very interesting result you will be more focused on a very narrow objective so your mind will not be free that much so i would say don't worry too much about precise results when you go for the details maybe you can go for precision because by the time you are most certainly uh, clear about what exactly you are going to do so when you go for the details maybe you can go for little precision and also if you are suggesting some uh, artificial objects like man made objects like the boat or house maybe the drawing needs little bit more precision but all for the natural objects organic objects you can you can be little free just playing with the tones uh, this the color choice of red is purely my choice you can you can you can do whatever you like okay and this is just an idea demonstration and uh, your practice subject could be something different taking cerulean blue the first boat was uh, used, done using red vermilion red i think and this is uh, cerulean blue and you need to make the foreign boat little smaller uh, to get get the perspective or depth uh, convincing <coughs> now the thing is uh, the underlying layer is fully dry already so you can get sharp edges if you are painting now
just some suggestion for reflection I am not too much worried about the exact shape of reflection some suggestion of the reflection reflections are little uh, maybe a little complicated again don't worry about precision think of suggestions okay. I always think in terms of suggestions rather than precisions Try to change the color of the reflection depending upon the object above and also depending upon the kind of water. So that is a complicated topic in fact. So we will not discuss too much about the reflections. So the white thing that I have left, I had the idea that okay, that might suggest a, a, a band of highlight within water, but it is not reading well but I am not really worried about that I don't want to correct it if you want when you do if you are following the same subject you can correct it you can make it more convincing but my idea is just to go, go ahead with the practice so the boat within the boat there is a kind of a canopy or some, some kind of a uh, protection and uh, uh, some kind of a roofing and a couple of people there again suggestion these things of additional elements within the boat can help in getting modifying the the reflection and overall that will give a better uh, kind of uh, believability of the entire boat with the reflection you have more things in the object more things in the reflection so things will get a little bit more interesting and convincing again just some touches here and there and make the corresponding reflection as well So this, the objective of this is to just keep practicing, take some simple ideas either from memory or totally uh, you can imagine by yourself or it could be some reference that you have seen in the past or you have it with you. So it could be anything. The idea is not, uh, what matters is not what reference that you are using. It depends upon the, the what matters is the amount of practice, the the frequency of uh, you getting in touch with watercolors. That is more important. And that these kind of practices, since we are, we are not worried about results, this will give you more confidence and more failures. And this may lead to more failures, more unhappy results, but that will give you more knowledge, more more experience. Yeah, I think some darker touches are good to uh, enhance the overall uh, scene. Sorry for some background noise. Uh, I don't have any soundproof room for this recording. Okay, now I am taking a liner brush to suggest some branches. Again, this is just an idea. just some branches here and there so that it gives visually it gives some contrast and it it the objective is that this will push the background further away and can help in getting more depth keep practicing these kind of uh, branch movements okay. and um, get some confidence I think we are, um, uh, we can, I am doing little bit of overwork now, we don't have to worry too much. Uh, I will stop the branches now and maybe a little bit of foliages. I am starting with uh, liner brush, the same liner brush, some suggestion of uh, some leaves. But I think I am not getting control, so I am shifting to a round synthetic brush. 
Okay, some leaves here and there, so don't have to be very precise. I don't want to have large volume of leaves because I want to see through the sky and the, the interesting uh, sort of bluish wash behind. So just some some touches here and there to suggest the leaves. If you do it more, I think it will be overwork. So I'll just finish it. Maybe a couple of more touches at the below down area and I think I think I'll do now. Finish. Sign it now, I think. The more the more we work, the it is likely to get damaged. So I think uh, we are done. Maybe some foreign suggestions for some foreign trees and their reflection. It's always a good idea to connect the land and sky with some vertical elements and here particularly in water based scenes those vertical elements will give you an opportunity to suggest reflections yeah i am done now doing the signature and taking out the tape hope uh, you you have found some useful information here please do practice uh, in with a similar approach you can go for your own your own approach take some simple subjects either from memory or from imagination or from reference and uh, just keep some bold practices and uh, you will surely improve your watercolor skills and uh, hope this was informative if you have any questions uh, please do let me know in the comments i will i will surely respond and i will try to post more such videos in the in the uh, in, in this channel and also please check out my instagram account whose uh, handle is given at the beginning thank you very much see you soon